Hey guys, it is Wednesday. We got this um, baby bed fence sleeping gate thing that I'm selling. It uh, took a while to actually sell, but it's uh, going for 10 bucks. Five dollars for the gate and another five dollars for the delivery of it. And uh, yeah, just dropped that off at like DuPont and Dufferin. So that was good. And then uh, went online on Uber and kind of just going to bike around for a bit. I saw some like junk around so I was kind of looking at that and just like weaving through the neighborhood. And I found this Value Village at like Ossington and you know just north of Bloor. I guess it's going to become like a Value Village, I don't know. It's not open yet, but that's neat. New Value Village in the neighborhood. And uh, yeah. Seems like, um, you know, we had a couple rainy days there. Maybe people have uh, been doing some house cleaning on their, their rainy days. Because there was like a decent amount of junk outside. Also got a Tim Hortons uh, delivery request, so... Went and took care of that. It was a $7 request. It was the only one I got today. You know, for like 15 minutes. Not bad, but... Would have been nice to get some more requests throughout the day. Anyways. Still just sort of riding around, looking at weird stuff on the street. Sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, it's kind of neat. I think I found a, like, car booster seat around here. I didn't uh, film it because I just sent a picture to Amanda. I think she was like asking me to like keep an eye out for a booster seat since the uh, river is almost tall enough to not need a full blown seat. I also found those 360 games. They were a bit wet but I did grab them. And uh, yeah, just heading home now I'm pretty sure. I did stop by at the Lego post just to check it out. I'd say it's pretty much, uh, done. Like, I guess they could keep adding stuff to it. It is Lego, but, uh... I'm like, dang, guys. Good job. So, I did take some, uh, pictures to sell this online if Amanda didn't want it. Apparently, it's, like, 80 bucks, so... Someone might buy it if, uh, you know, I was listing it for sale. But, uh, I also took some pictures of other stuff that I got around some bike bags and another like card game board game thing and uh yeah the bags are listed for 15 each and 10 for the shit happens uh, card game and uh yeah we'll see what happens and uh, i'm on my way to the post office and i found a neat lamp usb lamp that's kind of cool yeah just another uh, small package i got some 3ds face buttons yeah one of the DS's that I was getting ready for the nephews it's kind of like got weird edges on the d-pad kind of feels bad I mean he's probably not gonna care but I was thinking if it's easy maybe I'll replace it it doesn't look easy though actually when I looked at it <laughs> but maybe you know you don't have to solder anything but it is like 30 steps to take it apart to where you can replace the uh, d-pad so yeah, just looking at some more weird stuff. I kind of like these. I think they're like VHS tape organizers, which I have some VHS tapes. I like the idea of being organized, but uh, no, nah, I'm just going to leave that there. And uh, yeah, Florence Bedina completely closed right now for whatever they're doing. Yep. So I just kind of walked around that. And uh, yeah, continued my search for some street junk. Yeah, going around north of Bloor. I found this uh, building, which I think uh, Chris used to live in. I, I remember we moved him out of a building that looked just like this and he locked himself out. And then he like climbed up one of the pillars and got onto the balcony and we were all like, damn, fucking Chris doing some Spider-Man stuff. So that was neat. Kind of surprised I hadn't seen that building uh, sooner, biking around all these times. 
I was kind of in one of the areas that I bike around in. Oh yeah, and uh, plant a water jug, watering can. I did grab that. Hopefully it was junk. I mean, there was other junk nearby. You didn't see it in the video, but it was kind of like off to the side of that. But I think it was street junk. And um, yeah. So, at like uh, along Palmerston. Yeah, I saw that neat chair. I was like, oh yeah, somebody will grab that chair. That looked nice. I did find a PS4 drum kit. It was like, you know, not taken apart when I found it, but I was like, yo, I'm taking this. So I took it apart and put it in my bag, and then I was like, oh yeah, I should probably film that for you guys, but... Oh well. Here's what it looks like when it's all back together. And uh, I was kind of excited when I found this, because like, if it's in good condition, they're worth like over a hundred bucks to the right person. But uh, as it's untested, it's still worth something, but there's like corrosion in there. I did list that in the uh, Facebook uh, posting that I'm putting. I was like trying to get 20 bucks, which I feel like would sell easily. And then two guys messaged me and one of them was like, yo, I'll pay $50 if you bring it over here. And then a different guy's like, I'll pay 80. And I'm like, holy shit, you guys want this shit like bad. So I've agreed to sell it to, for, for 60, but to like not go as far as the $80 guy wanted. So it's not a total pain in the ass to sell. But, uh, yeah. Easy money. Oh yeah, that lamp I found works. And I felt like plugging in the Wii that I bought at Value Village for like 25 bucks. And, uh, yeah, it turned on fine. Seems like it's, uh, working. Um, you know, I did feel kind of bummed out that it doesn't have GameCube, uh, ports on it. But... You know, looking online, the price of the cords is like $25, so it's, uh, you know, still a decent buy, I guess. I'll, uh, I'll see what I want to do with it, I guess. It turns out it actually came with Wii Sports Resort. Free bonus game in there. That's uh, always funny. So, uh, yeah. After hanging out for a bit, I decided to go and... Go to the Fresh Go. You know, since it's Wednesday, the deals are going to change tomorrow. And I already looked at the flyers. There wasn't better deals for cheese, which I was out of cheese. So, bought some $5 cheese and some other stuff. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, went back home. And uh, I was organizing these uh, action figures that I found a couple weeks ago. And to their, like, you know, respective sets. And I used Google Lens to figure out what this thing was from. This airplane. It turns out it's from, uh... Like a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You know, the stop-motion uh, movie. They have some figurine sets. And I was like, this thing's worth $60? For just the airplane? So I was trying to find out online how much, like, a set of them is worth. Seems like you can buy some similar ones for like $40, but also like people are selling them on eBay and trying to get like $300. It's kind of crazy. Seems like uh, this one that's listed at 80 US is pretty similar to the ones that I have. And they have more of them than, than I do, so... I don't know what I'll list this as if I want to sell it, but uh, yeah, turns out these might be worth something. I don't know. Later, guys.